Hello and welcome to another edition of Motor Cars Enthusiasts, and we've got a jam-packed show to talk about. So let's get right to it. First up on the list, Volkswagen's in the news. VW has actually gone and taken it on the chin on the first actual quarter of 2013 in their sales numbers. Took it on the chin hard. Well, Volkswagen doesn't want to take this laying down as it wants to be the number one automobile manufacturer in the world. And they've been trading blow for blow between General Motors and Ford over the past several months. Volkswagen, not want to take this new little sales dip laying down, have announced that they're going to have 60 brand new or refreshed models that are going to be coming out in the year of 2013. We only got three quarters left in the year of 2013. Impressive to say the least and a Herculean task for the Volkswagen group, but they've got tons of funding. I'm sure that they can probably pull this off. We'll keep you abreast of this when we know more. Next up on the list, well, a good portion of this show is going to be all General Motors all the time. And first up on the General Motors hit parade is this vehicle, their brand new Spark EV. The new Spark EV has yet to go on sale in the U.S. market, but it's got official EPA testing numbers are out on this. This plug-in electric vehicle can go 82 miles on a full charge of electricity. Now that puts it at an EPA number of 119 miles a gallon equivalency, that is, from the EPA. And also, if you have a full fast charger for this particular automobile, it can gain 80% of its charge in 20 minutes. Pretty impressive piece of kit. No words on pricing and what this vehicle will be coming to showrooms. But we'll keep you abreast of that and we'll keep you in tuned when it does happen. Next up on the list, well, let's talk about the Corvette. And let's talk about the Corvette for a long time. The Corvette brand new C7 Stingray is going to be coming to say, uh, showrooms very soon. We've got official pricing numbers on this particular automobile. $51,995 if you want the hardtop version of the C7. Or if you want the convertible version, that thing will start at $59,995. This vehicle, both of these vehicles, will come with a 6.2 liter LT1 V8, putting out 450 brake horsepower and 450 pounds feet of torque. Also has cylinder deactivation. They're talking about fuel economy numbers on the highway of 30 or 30 miles a gallon or better on the highway. Now, let's talk about some of the packages that you can get on the brand new Stingray. The first package, the at least the a la carte package, if you want to go with certain uh, pieces and parts on your particular Corvette. Now, here's the deal. Exposed carbon roof. If you want one of those, it's going to cost you $2,495. The magnetic ride control option will come in at $1,795. Dual mode exhaust will come in at $1,195. The carbon interior package, a little bit of carbon fiber here and there, will come in at $995. Now, microfiber upper instrument cluster and upper instrument trim package, which comes for a bunch of microfiber uh, touch points on this particular uh, automobile will come in at $995. If you want the brake calipers to be painted red, it'll come out $595. And if you want black painted wheels, that'll come in at $4,951. But wait, there's more. Because the 3LT package which will cost you $8,005. If you want this package, this package comes with a lot of interior goodies, a lot of, of creature comforts, if you will. Bose 10-speaker stereo system with Sirius NXM satellite radio and HD radio. It'll also come in with color uh, heads-up display, the display on the windshield. Also comes with Napa leather wrapped seats and the dashboard, instrument panel, the center console, the door panels, Again, this package will cost you a cool $8,051. Now, the package that I would probably go for is the Z51 package. This is a lot of stuff to go fast junk. Now, this package will cost you $8,005 as well. This comes with a lot of cool kit, though. Dry sump oiling system for the for the engine also comes with short uh, shorter gear ratios in the transmission. Also with larger capacity Bilstein shock uh, shock and damper kit for the automobile. 
with a lowered ride height. It also comes with a rear stabilizer bar, forged wheels, and this real trick three clutch electronic LSD or limited slip rear differential package. The actual package where the clutch system works on electronically where it works where the each wheel is kind of independent of each other until the vehicle is under load in a corner and you apply a lot of throttle then the vehicle will lock one to one or if it's doing hard acceleration I'm talking about zero to sixty numbers in under four seconds on this automobile so it's going to be pretty fast indeed and the trick of this whole deal as far as the z51 package you don't get the magnetic ride control which i thought was a little bit weird but I guess if you want the Bilstein shocks, they don't come with the magnetic ride control. But if you want the magnetic ride control, it's going to cost you an extra $1,795. Now, last up on the list, Audi is showing off this brand new concept car. And I know I'm a product guy. I don't usually talk a whole lot about concepts. But I think this is a pretty trick piece of kit. Love to see it built. As you know, I'm a fat man. So lightweight is very, very important important to me. Yeah, that's what it is. Lightweight is extremely important to me. This vehicle has been on the Atkins and in a big, big way. Audi has done this where the door panels, the front fenders, the hood, the roof, the deck lids, and the rear quarter panels are all done in carbon fiber. They've even gone with the hinges on the vehicle actually done in carbon that have been reinforced with titanium, so those have all been going on the Atkins. And the fruits of their labor when it comes to this vehicle, which should weigh a bunch anyway, because it is an Audi Quattro, which does mean it's going to be all-wheel drive. No word on what kind of horsepower numbers it's going to be. But that Quattro all-wheel drive system is not lightweight in any way, shape, or form. But listen to what the curb weight on this automobile is going to be. 2,400 pounds. Hugely impressive. 661 pounds lighter than the standard Audi TT. So in, pretty impressive to say the least when it comes from Audi. Chances are this thing will never see the light of the day in production. But it's a cool car nonetheless. And if you want to, that's all I saw that I thought was worth talking about for this week's Motor Cars Enthusiast. If you want to jump on over to the Facebook page, i got a couple of cool videos on there. we got a lot of pictures that are updated every day on that site. If you want to check it out, the videos that we got up right now are pretty interesting. There's a vehicle, a Truggy, which is an off-road race truck just without the bodywork, that is. Looks more like a buggy, but it's built like a truck, a.k.a. Truggy. Now, the Truggy is actually all electric. Pretty cool piece of kit, almost 800 some odd foot-pounds of torque. They claim at a rolling start the thing will pull the front end off the ground on tarmac so I'm pretty impressive piece of kit not to mention how quiet the thing is also apparently last week or at least the shooting of this video the price is right which is a game show that's shown on here in North American market where you actually can they'll pick you right out of the crowd to be in the show and you get to actually call out prices on particular items and you get to win if you win you go up on stage you get to play for something if you win that you get to go into a showcase showdown where you uh try to guess the price on a huge package well apparently the price is right was trying to give away a 458 italia spider from ferrari hugely impressive i thought and a weirdo game that they had to play on this deal which was pretty entertaining had me yelling at the screen it's almost 14 minutes long but worth the look thanks for watching and if you want to jump on over the facebook page like i said it's down in the show notes and if you want to subscribe to the channel you can do so at any time Get the first dibs on the brand new show and now thanks for watching we'll see you again real soon